good evening and welcome to today's video my name is chokube madichie um in today's video i want to show us how to perform a group unit root test a group unit root test has to do with testing all the variables for unit root without having to test them one after the other which actually tends to take more time and energy and of course is very very stressful especially when you are working with large number of uh, variables so here you can actually save yourselves the the stress of having to go through uh, one after the other test of individual series when you are performing unit root test so here you can actually uh, type all the variables in one dialog box and just click OK and the result will come out. OK, now this procedure is in the form of an add-in. OK, so you have to download the add-in and work with the add-in. Now, um, I have the add-in downloaded and installed in my e-view. You can see the add-in, the add-in title is all unit root test. But if you don't already have the add-in, you have to uh, connect your system to the internet make sure you are connected to the internet and go to manage add-in if you go to manage add-in everything will come out here and you have to download the add-in you are interested in of course you can see the code you are all meaning unit root all all unit root test so you can see the the add-in title all unit root test so i have to close this because uh, i already have it in my add-in so what i'm going to do now is to test all the variables i have four variables here one two three and uh, four so i have to test them for unit root without having having to go through uh, one after the other test like what i'm about to do now is one after the other test after testing you have to test back you know at first difference you know that kind of a thing of course you can see what i'm going through now which has to uh, which is also applicable to all the variables and if you have a very uh, good number of um, variables you have to go through this stress so you have to actually save yourself the stress of having to go through all this process and just open the all you need to add in here you can type all the variables okay as i'm doing now okay you can see what i'm doing here all the variables four variables are already here now you can see the procedures that are available for this uh, process you can see adf you can see pp you can see kpss you can see adf and pp now we may choose ADF and uh, you select information criterion. We only have SIC and AIC. You can see, you can take a, a, a SIC and of course it has to select automatically the optimal lag length. Now you click OK. You can see the result is already out. Let me maximize. Unit root test result table ADF. Of course the hypothesis remains that the variable has unit root so uh, here you can see all the items we have in the normal procedure of this test everything is covered here with constant with constant and trend without constant and trend at first difference this is at level as first difference you can see the results and of course you have to take note of what you see here this procedure is developed by Dr. Emma Dedin. Okay, and um, is there any other thing remaining? Uh, nothing is remaining here. But then, um, to show you that this procedure is not different from what is obtainable in the normal procedure, we can actually pick up this uh, INFL and test. Of course, you can see minus 2.8. 75 that is 2.8275 uh, let us uh, test with this uh, normal procedure yeah you can see what i'm doing 
so you can see you test at level you can see the result here the result says minus 2.8274 of course uh, this is uh, uh, at four decimal places so you can take the four decimal places here you can see there's no difference between these two results so uh, i hope this video is helpful and somebody can actually begin now to work towards saving uh, yourself the time and the stress of having to go through uh, do, doing this for all the variables one after the other you can just do it once and for all thank you very much for watching this video i hope this video helps you don't forget to subscribe to the youtube channel and of course that's the only way you can actually support us and what we are doing if you find this video useful support us by uh, subscribing to the channel and of course if you have any question you can ask if you have any suggestion any comment we are ready to accept all that thank you very much once again